Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to Gardening Coast to Coast. Today's video is all about cucumbers. And I have my first wave of cucumbers that these went in in the beginning of May. One has died out, the other one is dying off. It's time to yank those out and continue planting. So we're gonna show you a second wave of cucumbers that's still producing, and then we're gonna plant a third wave to talk about why it's important now at the end of July to keep on planting cucumbers so that you have continual harvest through the late summer and into the fall. The cucumber plants can, from transplant, will start producing within 45 days because it's so warm, the soil's warm, the air's warm. Don't get discouraged, just keep planting. Let's go take a look at the first wave of cucumbers that are continuing to thrive. We have wave one in here and they're starting to die off but you can see cucumbers are still coming in nicely. Still a ton on here. Yeah lots of little ones. Definitely have more life left in them. And sometimes as the plants get older you'll see how they have this weird point on here. Sometimes they just don't thrive as well. Pollination isn't as great because it's really hot now in July. So you'll have misshapen cucumbers. Pick them off sooner than later. But these, this group is still going pretty strong. We have another first wave that I've been pruning and really caring for, and it does make a difference. You don't have to prune, but this was the first wave that also went in in May. And these are ready to actually come out. Those so are this, great. Is, this is a great size, and we'll eat these today. And then my second wave, these probably went in maybe three weeks ago oh, from transplants difference. like you're carrying, but they're looking good. It's beautiful. Starting to produce already. There's a, some baby cucumbers there. Oh yeah. So these will go from there. seed to harvest in about six to eight weeks. Plenty of time still. Right. And from transplant even quicker. So if you want to, if you don't have space in your garden, start them in containers like you have in your hand, uh, yogurt cup or anything like that. Get them growing in a shady area with some sun on your deck or your patio or your porch. Don't let this bake in the sun because it will get damaged, but start them outside. All right, so let's go plant wave number three. So we're going to pull all this out and plant our brand new little transplants here. These plants are all dead, ready to go. These plants still look pretty good, Gary, but we're going to make space for some brand new ones. We're going to put new ones in. Yeah. And the cucumbers are just looking to be a funny shape to me. And that means the plant's just not right. doing well. Sometimes it's easier just to start with fresh new plants. And we have extra plants, so yeah. don't do anything fancy. Just rip them out. I know it's very difficult. Nobody likes doing that. And you're better off not trying to save this greener plant. You're better off to replant new plants. You know, it's possible to save it. And we'll save some of the cucumbers that are on there. But you can't get too attached to the plant. The circle of life, right? Yeah, it looks brutal. You could also plant from seeds if you want to. It'll take a little bit longer, but the transplants, you know, will give us fresh cucumbers a lot quicker. And the plants will just be healthier. Yeah. Sometimes when you're putting in your second wave, your third wave, you're planning around the life cycle of insects and diseases. So when these start maturing up, those insects are gone, those diseases don't have the optimal conditions, and you don't fresh get the problem. Start with healthy plants, right? Yeah. So cucumbers are heavy feeders. I like to use the organic granular fertilizer, anything. That's, as I always say, around a 555 five, NP and K. Up or down a few numbers, doesn't matter. And I am quite liberal with sprinkling it in. Cucumber roots are going to spread all the way out this way. Work it into the surface. And the organic granular feeds over weeks and months, slowly releases to the ground, or to the, to the soil for the plant. You could throw in fresh, a little bit of fresh soil if you want to, but the granular fertilizer works great. Throw in some worm casting, some compost. Yep. That way they have a fresh new start. And then I just do that as, as for the amount of digging. Another handful, mix it through. You never want your plant to be sitting right on the fertilizer. Gets it down there on the roots. Okay. Okay, perfect. Just pop your... You notice these are a little bit leggy, which is really no big deal. They're going to have plenty of support here with the soil around it. And these little baby leaves are starting to kind of yellow and dry up and drop off. No big deal either. It doesn't mean anything's wrong with your plant. They're going to perk up again in no time. We're going to put some liquid fertilizer over it as well. Really help it get off to a good start. Start growing those cucumbers again. And we might oh, as well. Another one? Yeah, I'll show you how quickly. I mean, so the transplants were probably gr growing three weeks, um, a little bit longer on my porch. Mm -hmm. But they're ready to go. So you grow them on the porch, 
these plants die out, pop in new plants. It's that easy. And you can hand me that because you can't reach simple. it. quick and simple. Yeah. Sometimes I'll start uh, new seeds inside under grow lights as well, just to uh, get them growing a little bit faster. But then you have to make sure that you harden them off and make the transition to the outdoors. So either way you do it, just get some new ones started. Now you want at least 45 days from this planting to your next frost date that's coming. Mm -hmm. 60 days is great, but again, because it's so warm, these are going to take off. Right. The other thing I like to do, and look, this is just a good example. This was the cucumber plant that was in there. These surface roots go everywhere, so you really want to keep the top four to six inches moist. Mulch it in. Now in California, we can really plant cucumbers, I'd say, into September or October because we've got warm weather into about November. But you do want to put them in a nice sunny spot if you possibly can. At least in my yard, I get a lot of shade, um, you know, as the sun drops further in the sky in the fall. And you can do it in a container too. Yeah. Well, why don't you water it in, talk about that water soluble, okay, and good. I think we are good. We're going to give them a nice little drink here. This is a high nitrogen fertilizer. It's fish fertilizer. And it's good to do with the water soluble because the plants can uh, take it up immediately. This is readily available <clears throat> in a lot of different uh, you know, garden centers. And then they'll green right up and give them a nice little burst of leafy growth to take off quickly. I'm really drenching it in here. And that's good. And for the first drink, that's two gallons of fish emulsion. That's plenty for your cucumber mm -hmm. plant to get started. I would water it in well after this, and you're good to go. Thank you for watching the Gardening Coast to Coast video series. Let us know if you're planning a new wave of cucumbers here in the late summer. And make sure you check out the video description. So we will be doing a Gardening Coast to Coast podcast coming soon. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. See you next time. Two, one, action. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. <laughs> three, three, two, one, action. So thanks for a brand new third wave here in the midsummer. So you have far harvest in the late summer and into the fall. <laughs> All right, let me try that again. <laughs> well, let's start from the beginning. Yeah. Let's